I have this data. I have drawn it. And I can see one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I can assume that the periodicity is four. Periodicity means after how many periods seasonality repeats. So I stay with periodicity equal to four and I assume my alpha, beta, and gamma equal to 0.5. Alpha goes for level, beta goes for trend, and gamma goes for seasonal. The same as trend adjusted exponential smoothing in trade and seasonality adjusted exponential smoothing, I need initial level, trend, and seasonality. Since periodicity is four, I come here for seasonality I type equal to period one divided by average of four periods because periodicity is four and I lock it. That would be seasonality for period one, low season, a little bit higher, high season, then going down. Now I have periodicity. And for the time being, I only need this one. There are several ways to compute level and trend. One way is just to assume this is equal to level and trend is equal to the last one minus first one and divided by number of periods. Suppose I don't have that numbers over there. Count. Minus one. That is my level, trend, and seasonal. A better approach will be equal to average of four period. That is my level. For trend, I'll go and compute the average of the last four periods minus the average of the first four periods, parenthesis, parenthesis, I divide the difference between these two by my count, which is 28, my periodicity, I should subtract it, which is 4, and I should also subtract one more, so I have everything, level, I have trend, and I have seasonality. This method is proposed by Dr. Irvani, Sigurd Irvani. One other method is regression on centered moving average. I will discuss it in another lecture when I explain seasonality enhanced linear regression. We will discuss how can we use those results and inject them here as level and trend. That procedure was proposed by Dr. Chopra, Sunil Chopra. Now let me to explain how level and trend are computed for period one. We had them for period zero, now we want to compute them for period one and also compute seasonality for period five, which is the same as period one, but every four periods, they are adjusted. How can I come from here to here? Always we have one minus something multiplied by something plus something multiplied by something, one minus this thing multiplied by something and then this thing itself multiplied by something else. For level, this thing is alpha. Let's start with alpha equal to 0.5 as we said and beta and gamma also equal to, I have level, I should multiply by one minus alpha what is my forecast for period one without seasonality is this one plus this one. So summation of these two should be multiplied by one 
minus of. That is my forecast multiplied by 1 minus alpha. 1 minus alpha and lock it multiplied by my without seasonality forecast for period 1 and that level plus trend. Enter. So 1 minus alpha part is done. Alpha part is also a little tricky. So I'll go here plus alpha and lock it. Okay. Then I should multiply it by actual level. We may think it is this one, but it is not. Because this 21 already has seasonality in it. And because this level shouldn't contain seasonality, therefore I need to remove seasonality from this one. How I do it? By dividing it by seasonality index. So if I go here and I type equal to 21 divided by this seasonality index, that 28.5 is without seasonality actual data for that period, which was later affected by this seasonality and was lower than what it should be if there were no seasonal. Alpha multiplied by actual that I have observed divided by seasonality of that period. That was for level. What about trend? In, I have one minus something. This time that is one minus beta and lock it. One minus should always be multiplied by forecast. And what was our forecast for trend? It was this one. We added it to level to come out with forecast for the next period and then multiplied by seasonal. One minus beta need to be multiplied by forecast for trend. And then always this should be followed by plus beta and lock it for enter. Now what should be beta multiplied? It should be multiplied by actual, by actual trend. What is actual trend? The same as trade adjusted exponential smoothing is the gap between this level and previous level multiplied by parentheses this minus previous oh, level for period one and I have trend for period one. All I need is to forecast seasonality for period five. And as long as my forecast for next period is constant, my forecast here was level plus trend multiplied by seasonality. My forecast for next period, level plus trend multiplied by seasonality of this period. Let's see how I compute this one. Again, I have one minus gamma, one minus gamma, lock it, multiplied by forecast for this season and forecast for this season was this one. Then I go and add to it gamma and I lock it. Multiply by what? It should be multiplied by actual seasonality that I have observed. What is that actual seasonality? My forecast without seasonality was summation of these two. What I observed was this. Therefore, I should divide this one. I should divide this one by the summation of these two. Gamma multiplied by what I observed divided by what I had, which is this one plus this one. All my computations. I have my forecast. I can bring these things down. I can bring these things 
things down. I can bring these things down. I will compute it once again for period two as another practice. Let's go to period two. I need to compute level. I need to get one minus alpha and multiply it by forecast. What is my forecast for here? That is summation of trend and level. Summation of these two would be my forecast for period two. What is the actual for period two? Actual for period two is this 27. But I don't want seasonality to be involved because I don't have seasonality involved here. Therefore, what I should do, I should divide this by its seasonality index and that would become released from seasonality actual, actual multiplied by alpha forecast multiplied by one minus alpha. Let's practice equal to one minus alpha and lock it times actual. Actual is this one plus this one. Or I can simply put summation of those two. That is the forecast part. And the actual part, alpha, lock it, multiplied by actual of this period, but free of seasonality. This is seasonal index. That is what I have. Now I need to compute trend here. One minus beta multiply by forecast. What is my forecast? It is this one. So multiply one minus beta by this one. But what is the actual trend? This is my current level. And this is my previous level. Trend in these two periods is the difference between these two. That is the actual side. This is the forecast. Equal to one minus beta multiplied by forecast plus beta multiplied by actual you have observed is this level minus previous level. Seasonality for here is equal to 1 minus gamma. Multiply by what? Multiply by forecast of seasonality and that is forecast of seasonality. Multiplied by forecast that is one part and then plus gamma multiplied by actual seasonality that I have observed and that is what I have seen divided by my forecast for that which is level plus actual which were my forecast free of seasonality. Now I can copy this down. and these two and this one as a forecast and this one for the other period. Now we want to do here, I have these four numbers two. I come here for forecast equal to level and lock it, trend and lock it, multiplied by this period minus this period and, and then multiply everything by its seasonality. Enter. Now 
Now, one other thing we need to do is to compute MSE, for example. E2 equal to actual minus forecast squared. And here. MSE data minimize MSE by changing alpha, beta, and gamma, and alpha greater than or equal to zero, and alpha less than or equal to one, and beta less than or equal to one, and gamma less than or equal to one, and beta greater than or equal to zero at gamma greater than or equal to zero. Okay, solve. We see our forecast is much better now because in the previous situation, we just had an arbitrary alpha, beta, and gamma, and now we have the best one. Thank you very much. <laughs>